Welcome back to another Crypto Gorilla video. Today we're going to be learning how to farm Linea in case there is an airdrop. Now, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. But the other thing you must consider is I have no idea if these steps are even going to work. Nobody does. We're all just trying to do our best to figure out what steps we need to do to try to qualify for an airdrop based off of previous airdrop qualifications. Now, Linea also said there's not going to be an airdrop, but Arbitrum also said that, and Arbitrum was a payday. And with Linea having raised like $750 million, everybody expects an airdrop, but if there is one, it's not going to be for another year. But I'm just getting a head start trying to establish really good wallets with a transaction history and trying to interact with as many contracts as possible. But like I said, this might all be for nothing, so you're going to be spending gas for absolutely nothing nothing. So if you understand and accept those risks, let's farm some Linea. So everything I'm going to be showing you today should not be done in one sitting. You don't want to look like a bot just trying to farm all these transactions. You want to look as organic as possible. So try to spread them out over time. And that's going to be very beneficial for your wallet. I know it could be tempting to just follow this video from start to finish and do everything in one shot, but I'm telling you don't. Now there's a ton of protocols and dApps that you can interact with. We're going to go on the Linea website, click explore the ecosystem. And from here, this is everything that's compatible with Linea. So the ones that interest us are Bridge, NFT, and DeFi. If you scroll down, you can see there's a bunch that say coming soon. So you're gonna to wanna to return to this website and look, hey, what's new, what's available, which contracts can I interact with? Cause that is one thing that a lot of these airdrops, they track. Now the most expensive one is going to be Bridge, but I'm gonna to try to interact with as many of these as possible. Cause some of these might have their very own airdrop. For example, if we click MES protocol and we go to their website and we scroll down to the FAQ section, does MES have a token? No, we don't have an official token yet, yet being the key word. So you can hit two birds with one stone here. But the other thing, if we click launch app and then we go to trade MES convert, you can convert from Linea. So you have an interaction on Linea into ZK Sync and ZK Sync is another airdrop that I'm going to be farming. So you're hitting multiple birds with one stone. So step one of the tutorial, we're going to need to bridge into Linea. For that, there's a ton of bridges like we saw. I suggest using the Linea bridge at least once. It is a bit more expensive. I did all the swaps, all the pools, withdrawals, approval, everything, and it was less than $20. So add on the NFT stuff to it. That's probably like $25, $30 total. Again, spread over many months. But this bridge in particular was more expensive. I think it was like $5.50. So you're going to want to wait for Gwei to be down, but it's also really slow. It takes like 30 minutes, but I suggest doing it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to put 0.2, even though I said you only need $20, $30, you want some ETH to do volume volume with because that's another thing that they look at. They look at transaction frequency over what period of time, how many contracts have you interacted with, what amount of volume do you have on your wallet? These are some of the things that they look at. So I already bridged, but you would just click start bridging. You're going to have to approve the transaction and then you're going to see the transaction down here. Like I said, it's going to take like 30 minutes. So go outside, touch grass, do what you got to do. Now, if you don't already have Linea, it might ask you if you want to switch to Linea or if any of the sites we go to, it's going to ask you. But if not, you just go here, you do add network and then you find Linea among this list. So now that we have ETH on Linea, the first thing we're going to want to do is make a swap. So again, I'm going to put all the links in the description down below. The first place I'm doing a swap is on SyncSwap. So you want to go connect your wallet. Next, connect. And then you want to make sure that you are on Linea and not on ETH mainnet. And then you just pick an amount that you want to swap. Again, transaction volume. So you can do some higher swaps if you want. 0 0.5, 0 0.1. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you need a certain amount of volume, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be doing this over a long period, over months, we're going to be doing this. So you're going to get that volume. But if you want to increase your odds, obviously do higher volume. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do 0 0.025. I'm doing it to CEBUSD because it's going to be available on all four of the swaps that we're going to look at today. But you can choose whichever token that you want. We're just going to click swap. I'm going to approve. And there you go. The transaction was successful. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add liquidity to the pool. So pools, pools. And then since I converted to BUSD, I'm going to add to that pool. But if you chose another token, obviously 
you need to find the pool for which you have the pair. You need both ETH and the other token. So I click that, I'm gonna to go to deposit. So I'm gonna be adding liquidity to the pool. You don't have to put the entire BUSD that you just got. I have 46, I'm just gonna put, I don't know, like 15, and I'm gonna click this button so it automatically puts the equivalent in ETH. First, I have to unlock my BUSD, so I have to approve it. Let's just do max, next, and submit the transaction. And there we go, success and now we can deposit into the pool. So I'm gonna click confirm. This whole thing is gonna be a lot of approving and confirming transactions and it's successful. So now we have liquidity in the pool. You can leave it for you know weeks, months, whatever time you want. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to withdraw it once you're ready. You just go to the same place, withdraw, and then you would just click max. First, you gotta unlock the LP token sign and then we're gonna do withdraw liquidity which is going to be the part where you have to pay a gas fee. So now that that's done, we could do another trade or swap on this website, but I like to use another site in order to interact with more contracts. So I'm going to keep my ETH, keep my BUSD, and I'm going to head on over to Echo Dex. So first you connect your wallet, you make sure you're on Linea mainnet and not the testnet. And from here, you could either do a swap. The first thing I'm going to do though, since we have the two currencies, I'm going to add liquidity to a pool. Again, you don't have to be adding in every single pool on every single website. I'm just trying to do the most possible. So here I find the pair I have. In my case, it's BUSD to ETH. I click the plus. I'm gonna put $15 once again. It automatically tells me how much ETH I need. I need to once again approve my BUSD because it's not approved for their contract. And once our transaction has gone through, we can do supply, confirm. Again, we have to approve another transaction and our transaction has gone through. Now, again, you're gonna wanna leave this in for weeks, months, however long you feel like. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to withdraw. So we just go back to the pools page. You click remove liquidity. I'm gonna select max because I want all my money. You have to approve, click max, next, approve. And once it's approved, we click remove, confirm, confirm. Now that that's done, let's go to swap. And like on the other site, I'm gonna select what I want to swap from. So BUSD into ETH. I'm gonna put an amount here. I put the default because I don't have any ECP. So I just put default. You can also change your slippage. They suggest two. I'm just leaving it at two. And then you do swap. And I need to, the price change I accept. Confirm swap. And we're gonna do confirm and our transaction went through. Next, we're gonna jump on to Horizon Dex. Again, connect your wallet. Always make sure you are on Linea. Here, it seems like it's the only option, so there you go. And I'm not gonna do it again, but you can do the pool where you just find the pair, you do add liquidity. I did passive when I did it. Uh, the issue here is you're gonna need Weath. So you're gonna need to do a swap into Weath if you want to pool on Horizon Dex. You don't have to, but it's just another interaction with a different contract. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do the swap on this website. So I'm going to be swapping the remainder of my BUSD into ETH. But like I said, they're going to be adding a ton more swaps. So you can just keep some of that BUSD and switch back over time if you have the extra liquid. Because you might want to do a pool in one of these dApps and you might need some BUSD. So maybe not swap at all. It's up to you. So here I'm going to click max because I want to get the full amount. First, I have to approve my BUSD. Hopefully it's a lot faster than the last website. I had to up the gas a few times on the previous site. And once that goes through, we're just going to click swap. We are going to confirm the swap. And once again in MetaMask, wait for the price to readjust, confirm. And there we go. We've swapped the rest of our BUSD back into ETH. So that does it for the swap and pool section of the tutorial. Now we're gonna be doing NFT stuff. So this first one isn't on the list for some reason, but if you go to a lot of these websites, it actually links you back to this website. So first I'm going to mint a free NFT. You just have to pay the gas on Aptimism. So I'm gonna connect my wallet, next connect. And then I'm going to mint, you could mint up to two, mint for free. You just have to pay the gas fee. And there you go, we minted successfully. Next up, I'm gonna create my own project on NFTs to me. So create your project. I'm gonna choose editions. You could choose whichever one you want. Name, I'm gonna choose Pepe, symbol, Pepe, description, Pepe. And then you could, if once you connect your wallet, you could generate artwork using AI. I'm not sure why it doesn't pop up, but it seems to do this. I'm gonna do mint NFT. You need to add a wallet. So I'm just gonna go grab my wallet address. I'm gonna put the address here, amount of NFTs, I don't know, six, nine. 
add address. And yeah, the AI thing doesn't seem to be working. So I'm just gonna upload my own. So I have this lovely gorilla that my editor made me. I'm gonna do deploy to Linea and Mint. And we just have to wait for all of this stuff to go through and then we click confirm i didn't try with only one nft so maybe if you're doing one it's a smaller fee but this the fee seemed really small anyways so i don't really care next up we jump to zonic essentially you're supposed to buy an nft but what you can do is if you go to your profile the nfts we just minted on nfts to me you could list one of these and then if you're farming from multiple wallets you could just buy your own nft so you're not giving your eth to somebody else you're keeping your eth so i would just do sell nft put a very small amount it doesn't matter somebody else can buy it who cares? i mean you could put it to whatever if you want somebody else to buy it you could put it to this amount i'll just put it to this list item i'm going to confirm approve then next you sign the gasless transaction and finally you have to or it's going to auto list i thought you had to pay a fee you do not so my nft is listed like i said you can send yourself the link if you're farming on another wallet you could just buy your own nfts so that way you keep your eth i think there's a small fee so you're going to want to put a very low price that way the exchange isn't taking 2.5 percent of like a one eth if you put it at one eth i would put it as cheap as possible finally we go to billionaire you're going to connect your wallet sign the message then go to my portfolio and hopefully you minted multiple nfts from the previous task so here i'm just going to go here i'm going to click sell i'm going to price it I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then expiration, set it to whatever you want. And we're going to click sell, sign. You're gonna have to pay a fee, of course. And there you go, our transaction is confirmed. If this page crashed, just redo it. This stuff is still being built, right? People are still testing. That's why they want us to do all this stuff so they could test. If it crashes, just redo it. The final step for this tutorial is using a bridge to get out of Linea. We're gonna be using Orbiter. It's really fast and very cheap, but I do suggest leaving a small amount on Linea because if you look at Arbitrum, you needed like 0 0.005, I believe like $10 in order to qualify for the airdrop in that wallet. Like I said, this airdrop is potentially a year away if there even is an airdrop. So you don't have to leave any money right now, but you know, when the time for the airdrop comes, be sure you have money in this wallet because you want it to seem like it's still an active wallet and you're interested in Linea. So you don't have to go to ETH mainnet. You can go to ZK if that's what you're farming or whichever one you want, Starknet. I'm gonna do ETH because I want my money back in ETH. We're gonna click send. We're gonna do confirm and send, confirm here. And we're just going to wait for this transaction to finish. This one's relatively quick. And there you have it. That's how you farm Linea, at least for now. Like I mentioned, they're going to be adding more and more dApps over time. So you're going to want to visit the Linea website that I showed you. Again, every link is in the description down below. And just check, hey, is there anything new that I could be interacting with that could hopefully increase my odds of getting an airdrop if they do one? So if they add a ton of steps, I'll probably end up doing a part two tutorial in the future. I plan on doing a bunch of airdrop tutorials tutorials because this is one of the areas I'm focusing on because I don't want to miss out on any potential money. I'm also going to be releasing a full tutorial on how I safely, again, there's still risk, but how I safely or increase my odds of not getting detected as a cyber attack farm airdrop. So that's going to be coming soon. I'm also going to be posting a lot of this stuff to Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. If you enjoy this kind of content and you haven't already done so, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thanks for watching Crypto Gorilla.